Hey guys, it's me, Blob Kitsune. As you can see by my little friend over here, I'm not in the shop today. Today we are designing a new character. So, we're looking at a species of pangolin. Uh, pangolins are cool because they're like scaly anteaters. They are also apparently incredibly endangered because of being hunted for their meat and scales, which is quite sad actually. But anyways, uh, I've drafted up a couple of different drawings of penguins and what I would try to go for in an anthro design. So we've got this guy over here, I drew the quick scales on, and as you can see, it's got a very stumpy leg, which means that if I was ever to turn this guy into a suit, I'd probably have to do a drop crotch. I also drew up the side profile of the penguin. This one's really rough because I didn't erase any of the internal markings at all. So we've just got a couple different views. From there, we're just gonna look at a couple of different anatomy things. For example, how its tail works, how its feet work. And I'm just gonna try and refine that drawing a little bit more. Potentially, we'll come up with a new character. God knows I don't need any more characters, but you know, whatever. Who cares? Characters are fun. All right, so. Start with the front view, because we're just going to sketch up a quick little reference job. So we'll go over here and we'll sketch out the body, do some quick circles. Alright, so the penguin's head, it's really small in comparison to its body from the looks of things. So we can't just do another circle. When I draw anthro characters, I usually do do just another circle. It makes it look more toony, that sort of thing. But for a penguin, it's got a much smaller head, so I have to do like a weird oval -y shape. It's kind of like a triangle, kind of like an oval. Stocky bodies, so fill them in. Get a bit of a neck really quick. And move on to the legs really quick. There we go, we have the penguin leg. We'll actually curve it in just a touch. It's a lot less of a noticeable curve than any other species that I usually draw. It's just a slight curve back. Not very pronounced. Alright, I'll pull up a quick little reference of the pangolin feet. Try and get these as good as possible because their front feet have really long claw like hands. Meant for digging, right? So they go and they claw. But their back feet have very short claws and they're all covered in scales. So it be one claw here and another one here. And it looks like a total of four claws on a pangolin. Quick reference of the penguin's nose.
not overly happy with how this pangolin design is turning out. Just because it's really weird, but I'm going to leave it for now. Pangolins have really long tongues. Really long, slender, skinny tongues for eating ants. And they're sticky, and it's kind of awesome. So what seems to be common for pangolins is the two middle claws, so it's like these two out of my head. Pangolins don't have a thumb, right? So this is this would be their hand. They've got four claws, and it seems like their two middle ones are really long, while their other ones are really short. So it's kind of like this, a little bit, in terms of joints, which is a little strange in terms of if I was going to actually turn a pangolin into a character, how would I create the hand paws, right? But, I mean, in the future, that'll be a problem. Right now, we're just designing a character. And then we'll do a little quick outline of where the scales would be. Clean up the lines a bit. Terrifying, but we are going to leave it for now. We'll add more character to the eyes in the later time. We're not bothering putting the tail on because the tail would be impossible to attach in a logical way in terms of a ref. We will make a separate pair area on here for that. Okay, and now for the back side of the pangolin. Realistically, these markings should actually go a lot higher up on the arms if we're doing the insides. They should theoretically go like this. It's a little wonky, but I mean, I know what's going on. Also, a pangolin's tail at its base starts at the exact same size as its entire width of its body. Okay, so my camera cut out, 
I guess I ran out of storage or something. I had to make a bit of room, but I am back. I've done a little bit of work since then, though. I finished drawing basically the entire side view of the face, and I also drew this little arrow here to show you how the scales on a pangolin grow, because they grow in the exact same way as a fur pile. But anyways, so we started drawing up the scales a little bit. I'm just gonna keep doing that now. Alright, so we have the scales drawn out a little quickly, but they're, they're good enough for us to know what's going on with the pangolin's face. So we'll just put face side profile on this. Just so we know that that is the face from the side. Next thing we're going to do is draw out how the tail attaches. So we'll draw a quick little body here. It's going to be super fast. Look at those. So circles aren't even even. But it doesn't matter. So this is where the tail would be. Because the main focus here is for the tail. So the way the tail connects. It's big. It's thick. It's long. Yes, that does sound dirty. Good enough. Now we can erase the rest here. So this is obviously become the interior of the tail. Tail. Bottom. Luckily, I know what my drawings mean because anybody else might have no idea. Make a quick note here. That it's the same width as body. And quite honestly, in terms of a character, all that's left for me to do here is decide on colors, finish drawing in the scales, and then we have our pangolin. He needs a name though? We don't have one of those yet. I would definitely appreciate name suggestions in the comments below. If you don't have any, that's fine. I will come up with something using Google Translate like I usually do. It's a good time. We just toss something in, find some different language of, an, of a word, change it from there. You know, that's how you come up with names sometimes. It's a good way. Uh, also, if anybody has any suggestions for color schemes, I am definitely open. I will be trying to digitize this in a bit. Put it into my computer, draw it up, and add colors digitally type thing. I will definitely be posting them on my Facebook, Instagram, and probably Snapchat today, if I get around to it. We will see. Uh, aside from that, I have been Block Katsuna. You guys have been awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me draw a pangolin. It went a little stranger than I thought it would go because it kind of looks like a snake. Not gonna lie. But that's okay. Because we're drawing Toonie. And when you're drawing Toonie, it's gonna look like a pangolin in the end. And that is what matters. Hopefully. Also, if anybody knows what sound they make, please let me know. I've been trying to figure that out for a while. I've gotten nowhere. And I really want to know what kind of sound they make. Thanks, guys.